desire to try to make a connection with the population. And uh, so it, we certainly have been working hard to try to accommodate his desire to make that kind of connection, uh, even in a very physical way, uh, while also making sure that all the necessary precautions are taken to keep him safe. Why does the Pope require this huge level of security, it's at least equal if not exceeding the security that the President receives? Well, Pope the, uh, Wolf, the, the, the Pope is an international symbol, uh, and uh, what we want to do is we want to make sure that he can uh, participate in all the wide range of activities that he has planned for his visit here uh, in Washington, D.C., uh, and also give uh, the, the American public the opportunity to hear his message uh, and uh, to really give him the opportunity to feel the warm welcome that we expect that, uh, that he'll receive during his, uh, his visit here to the United States. I'm sure it will be very warm. As you know, the president, uh, for the arrival ceremony tomorrow uh, at the White House, invited thousands of people, about 15,000, but some are seen as controversial. Uh, you heard that reporter earlier, an openly gay Episcopal bishop, a transgender activist, or a few of them, a nun who heads up a social justice organization that's at odds with the Vatican over several issues, including abortion. So why did the president decide to invite these specific guests? Well, well I, I think in general what you can expect are thousands of people representing a variety of communities all across the country uh, who are eager to welcome uh, the Pope not just to the United States but to the White House. Uh, there is no theological test administered to people who, before they got tickets. Uh, our goal here is to invite people who are, are just as inspired by the Pope and his message that the President himself is. Uh, and I think this will be an opportunity for the Pope uh, to, uh, uh, to receive that warm welcome from a genuine cross-section of the American people, both Catholics and non-Catholics alike, who have been inspired by his message of, of, of social justice and, uh, and caring for the least of these. Was the president trying to send a message? Uh, absolutely not, uh, Wolf. And, and we've even seen a number of on-the-record statements from uh, senior Vatican officials that have totally debunked uh, these, uh, this anonymous uh, griping that has been uh, popped up in some reports. All right, Josh, I want you to stand by. We have a lot more to discuss. Other issues as well, much more with the White House Press Secretary on the